Subscribe to this YouTube channel and please enjoy watching this video, here we go. The name Pierluigi Colina has become synonymous with fair play and respect in the world of football. His iconic bald head and commanding presence on the pitch struck fear into the hearts of many players. Regarded as one of the greatest referees in the history of the beautiful game, the Italian was named the world's best referee by the International Federation of Football History and Statistics six consecutive times from 1998 to 2003. Born in Bologna on February 13, 1960, his journey began in his beloved home country. Despite playing as a centre-back in his teenage years, Kalina soon realised that he was never going to succeed as a professional player and was quick to complete a course in refereeing. The rest, as they say, is history. He climbed up the ranks and then went on to establish himself as one of the best referees, not just in Italy, but in the world during his time as an official. After retiring from football in 2005, Kalina was appointed as head of referees for the Football Federation of Ukraine in 2010, but many will remember his iconic days as an official at the top level. What Kalina so great! Respected by everyone due to his no-nonsense attitude. Kalina was known for his no-nonsense approach to refereeing, and during his time with the whistle in hand he officiated some of the biggest fixtures in football, including Champions League, World Cup and UEFA Cup Finals. As alluded to, his rise to the top was rapid. Soon after officiating in the Italian third tier, Kalina was soon promoted to Serie A and B games. Kalina's ability to make key decisions with precision earned him respect among players, coaches, and fans. In 1995, his unique style of officiating earned him a call-up as a FIFA referee. From then on, he had the opportunity to referee the biggest games in the world. He always demanded the respect of players. Rarely did we see footballers shout and swear at the Italian on the pitch. Those who did were suitably dealt with. One of his most iconic moments as an official came in 1999 when he scolded an iconic cast of Inter Milan players that included Ronaldo Nazario, Javier Zanetti, and Diego Simeone, who were all known for being hot-headed. Roma had a free kick on the edge of the Inter Milan penalty area but Francesco Totti had to wait until his third attempt to take it because Inter's wall moved early. On the first two occasions, Kalina blew his whistle and dished out yellow cards to Zanetti and Francesco Colonnese for encroachment. Milan players surrounded Kalina to protest, but they quickly backed away after he delivered a stern response. In what was a fiery encounter between the two top sides in the country, Milan would go on to 5-4. Another big assignment of his came in 1999 when officiated Manchester United's dramatic comeback against Bayern Munich in the Champions League final in Barcelona. Speaking to TalkSport in 2020, the Italian revealed that the match was the most memorable one of his career, saying, It was a definitely a memorable night, mainly for the last three minutes. He added, Otherwise, the match was not that great, it was a normal match, if you can say the Champions League final is a normal match. But with the three minutes of stoppage time and the two goals scored, and the trophy going from one side to another side, it made that final the ultimate final in the history of the Champions League. Until 90 minutes I thought Bayern Munich were going to win, they were better and Man United were trying to do everything, and Schmeichel even went up for a corner, they were desperate, but definitely it was a surprise for everybody. After the first goal for Man United everybody was waiting for the extra time and 30 more minutes of a show, I think there was only one minute and something remaining of the match, but then Solskjaer scored. He once locked himself in a room before a World Cup final. Certainly a unique way of preparing for a game. Many will remember that Kalina was appointed to take charge of the World Cup final in 2002 between Brazil and Germany. In the modern era, technology in football has developed to such an extent that officials are able to prepare for major games in the best way possible. However, referees didn't have access to modern technology, such as VAR back in 2002, so the job was a little more challenging for them. Ahead of the final in South Korea, Kalina asked for VHS tapes of both teams to analyze their style of play. Speaking to ESPN, the Bologna-born official admitted that he locked himself in a room for over a day, saying, I remember when I was asked to referee the 2002 World Cup final between Brazil and Germany. 
I had to ask for VHS tapes of both teams. I locked myself in my room for a day and a half, taking notes and watching every minute of every match. Because the goal of a referee is to be one step ahead, to know what is going to happen before it happens. At the time, it was pretty unusual to prepare like that, but I'm proud of the fact that today this is normal prep for a referee. Brazil would go on to win the game 2-0, thanks to a second-half brace from legendary striker Ronaldo. The win in South Korea secured their fifth title and, at the time of writing, was their last triumph at a World Cup final. The showdown between the two giants proved to be a fairly straightforward assignment for Kalina. The referee only dished out two yellow cards, one to Brazil defender Roque Jr. and one to Germany forward Miroslav Klose, with both coming in the first ten minutes of the game. He was even on the cover of Pro Evolution Soccer. His popularity peaked in the early 2000s. Following his appearances at the World Cup in 2002, Japanese company Konami launched their Pro Evolution Soccer 3 game, but it had one major twist. It was unheard of for a referee to be chosen as the cover star at the time, however, Kalina was selected as the face of the hugely popular video game. As ever, he looked rather menacing with his pose on the game's cover. What's even more fascinating was that he wasn't even accompanied by any top footballer at the time on the front of the box. Despite being the face of the game, Kalina was not present as an in-game referee. Remarkably, the former referee also appeared on the cover of PES 2004 alongside Thierry Henry and Francesco Totti. The Italian didn't look quite as intimidating on this cover compared to the previous year's version, but make no mistake about it, he still looked like an absolute boss. Pierluigi Kalina, the most iconic football referee of all time. We salute you. Let us know what you think about the entire thing in the comments section below. Additionally, stay tuned and subscribe to this YouTube channel for the latest news and updates from around the world. We sign out.